What up YouTube? This is Video Effects Bros for a new super awesome tutorial. And today we're going to be learning how to make the Hancock Super Jump that uh, a lot of people are asking for. So let's go ahead and start. First, we grab our footage, which is this one. I already did it. And put it into a new comp, like here, or just drag it to the none. And duplicate it. Call one footage and call one background. And find the part where you, where you jump. So where you jump, where I jump is about right here, there where I break the floor, and I will have my footage. And now I have my background here, we want to turn off the footage. Remember this time over here, this is the time where we jump, okay, 413, and we go to the first one, or to the end. We go here, and we grab a ground plane, ground plane. So we freeze the frame, there we go, we already freeze the frame, and we can see we have a difference in curves here. So what we want to do is we want to apply curves to this one and bump this up so that it looks the same. As you can see, it's now more, uh, it's blending a lot more. So, we have the curves now, we have the footage, and let's go ahead to the time I said we have to go, where I jump. So I jump here, boom, and where we wanna jump, we wanna go ahead and just stop this so boom it there stop it and import a crack a ground crack from the action essentials pack which you have to buy but I have it so if you don't have it just grab a crack like this one from Google make sure it has to be a PNG and it is and the the, the parts uh, the black parts have to be seen just the black parts not the great part. So let's go ahead and import this, put it on top of the layer, just fit it to where you want it to go. Let's go ahead and grab another one. I didn't like this one. So maybe this one, the angle we want. No, it's not cool. Maybe, maybe this one, no, maybe, maybe this one, what about this one, yeah, okay, let's go ahead and grab it, put it into the comp, put it right there, and set it to, wait, Multiply, I think it's multiply. Nope. Set it to screen. Wait, overlay. It was overlay. So it's overlay. So once you have that there, you can see it seems like the ground is cracked. Let's make it 3D and make some adjustments here. But it seems it's actually breaking. And it actually seems it's breaking. So let's go ahead and put this up over here. So as you can see where we jump, right there it starts. Boom. There we go. So we want to go ahead and duplicate the footage. Call it picture, and I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom in, freeze this frame, make it larger, just snap it to over there where we stop this one, snap this one, 
right there. Freeze the frame. And now we're gonna mask this out. So let's mask this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can do it uh, depending on the angle. Okay, so we finished masking it, and now that we have our clean image, we can go ahead and solve this, and you can see how this stays there. You can go ahead and just grab the footage, duplicate it, make a ground plane, freeze the frame, and mask this out. So that it doesn't change throughout time. And now we can see it doesn't change. So now that we have our picture, we can go ahead and animate this. So right in the part where you jump, where we get to the here, I want to make animate the position like about maybe one, two, three, four frames, and just maybe five frames. And go ahead and just pump this up. Let's go ahead and add a little more frames from frames position. Here we go. Let's see how this works. Let's go ahead and render this, see how that works. Let's turn on the motion blur now so that when it moves, it seems a lot realistically more realistic. Okay, check it out. Maybe we want to go ahead and just pump this up. And there we go, we have our animation. Now that we see it, we fly all the way there. And now we want to import our debris. So we have a bouncing debris here. Maybe that could work. Maybe this. Maybe this. Let's try this one. Now we have the impact. Set it to half quality here. So it renders faster. So we can see it's slow. It's a little bit slow, so. Let's time stretch this by going to right click, time, time stretch. 70% maybe. And now it's quicker. And 
Now we can go ahead and see. It's perfect. So the impact, it's already done. It's time to time stretch this a little more. 50%. Perfect. It's moving perfect. So let's go ahead and just we have our stuff here. Let's go ahead and enable time remapping. And now it's stopped through time. So we enlarge this over here, and that's it. Boom. We have our rise. So this is the first part of the tutorial and watch out for part two. Thank you. Rock on.